Namaste. Fist pump. Fist pump. Double O-ring. O-ring two. O-ring three. It's a quick and dirty lowdown on the O-ring three. And I've got some different views for our people. But first of all, I'll just explain a quick Kung Fu story. So there's a Kung Fu master and he has three students and he can't pick which one should take over the dojo. So he takes them out to the beach and gives them all a stick and says, draw an animal in the sand. The person who can draw the quickest animal will get the dojo. So one of the students grabs a stick and draws a squiggly line. Another student starts drawing this bird and it's quite intricate. The other student starts drawing a wolf. The student that drew the squiggly line realizes that these people are drawing such a better a better animal that he starts adding arms and legs. The master shouts time and the person who drew the wolf wins. And the, the master goes, you drew a squiggly line. It looked like a snake. That was perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. It was quick. It was quick and efficient and it's what it should be. And that's what I feel Aura is. Aura isn't the most singing, all dancing activity tracker, but it's really good at what it does. And I think Aura should have doubled down on what they're doing instead of adding arms and legs onto what they've done with Aura Ring 3. But there's another way of looking at the Aura Ring 3 and is that the Gen 3 is more of a Kickstarter but you get the product now. So Aura Ring 2 kind of launched on Kickstarter and it was like promises, promises, promises and in a year you'll get your activity tracker if you, if you sign up. Where Gen 3 is a little bit different. It's like, hey, you can get the Gen 3 today, but you can't get any of the features today. And by buying the Gen 3, you're going to help fund the company so we can put money in and make this happen. And they've also added a subscription model, which is a really good idea as long as I personally don't have to pay for a subscription model. That's one of the reasons I got the Gen 3 was to get the lifetime subscription because I think what Aura does is really cool. But I just don't think they should have added too much into the ring because the Gen 2 did really well. And considering the Gen 2, I think, came out in 2016, so we're talking about a five-year-old bit of technology that didn't need too much updated. What Aura should have done, instead of concentrating on the ring as what that is their product, what they should have done is create an ecosystem, kind of like Apple have done. You need the phone, you need the headphones, you need the MacBook, you need the, the iPad, you need the watch, and each one of these things does a slightly different thing, but not all of them does together. So the ring is a fantastic kind of all day activity tracker. Were you inactive, were you active? Sleep tracking. It's, it's great, it does a great job, it's got your HRV, it's got your heart rate. What they should have done is added a few more products into their ecosystem, like a chest strap for workouts. Why try and make this into the ultimate activity tracker when I can't even wear it weightlifting? Is it comfortable holding onto a bike? Is it good if I'm running and my finger gets sweaty and it just slides off? These are things to worry about. Where a chest strap is a great, reliable activity and what they could have done is made in the app a connection with a chest strap. They could have gamified it, could have given points, could have done heart rate recovery, could have done all this sort of stuff. Then they could have maybe put light detection in this. A lot of us now are really conscious about getting good morning light in the morning and trying to avoid light at night. And they could have added in light detection and made it into more of an ecosystem. I really think the marketing is just all wrong with the Aura Ring. They should have really, the Aura Ring 3, because all they've done is made a bunch of underwhelming reviews of people going, I got the Aura Ring 3 and it's not better than the Aura Ring 2. What did I do? So now you've got all these independent kind of reviewers and things looking at the Aura Ring and being completely and utterly underwhelmed when they should have been saying, hey, you can get the Aura Ring 3, these are the features that we've got coming up. They're going to be awesome. This is what we're adding. The future is bright, blah, blah, blah. But you can get in on it and grind one and you can get each feature as they roll out. Or you can wait till 2022 and buy the whole thing all packaged out, but you'll be paying more for it. You'll be paying a subscription for it. You'll be paying more for the actual tracker for it. Um, so marketing wise, they have a really bad marketing thing. I actually think the Gen 3 is really cool. I thought Gen, Gen 2 was absolutely amazing amazing considering how long it's been out and how many iterations of like say the apple watch you've had and all these different activity trackers have done those and aura have just stuck fast with this really simple snake in the ground design it just does what it says and it does it well i see a few people have battery issues I've, I've never had any issues with my gen 2 i am happy with the gen 3 i think it's a good thing to get i have three discount codes that you get with the app i'll pop them in the description so first three people who want one can grab one i think Grabbing it now and getting that discount, 
I think Aura have a lot of things planned that they're not telling and they don't want to fire out empty promises. I think it's interesting, but I really think they should have gone down the ecosystem route and built an Aura kind of cosmic biohacking health community, kind of like what Apple Watch have done, but or how Apple have done it, but more in an Aura way. They have a bit of a vibe to them and they've could have they could have done that well and they're really more for the kind of biohacking health optimization market where Apple's more for like the everybody. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the descriptions and thanks for watching.